Hi, I'm Joe Hupsey, and I'm here with the CEO of NextStop, Yushan Zhu. And Yushan, before I ask you questions about NextStop and the product bug scope, just tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, I'm the founder and CEO of NextStop Software, and very happy to have this opportunity to talk about bug scope. Great. Well, let's get to it then. Um, so, well, actually, let me take a step back. Before discussing the products, tell me what the problem space is you're addressing, and, and who's the exact end user? Is it an RTL designer? Is it a verification engineer? Uh, Assertion-based verification, or ABV, is a key methodology for effective functional verification. Unfortunately, a lot of users have trouble in manually writing uh, assertions yeah. and functional coverage points. It's required, the manual process requires a unique expertise and it takes a long time. So designers use Bugscope to automatically generate functional assertions. And verification engineers use Bugscope to automatically generate functional coverage properties. So by using Bugscope, the design and verification team can um, effectively generate the properties to jumpstart their uh, assertion-based verification flow, which leads to better and faster verification. Well, that's terrific. So, um, you know, the temptation is when you first hear the word assertions that it's only really, um, you know, for designers or for the upfront kind of formal verification process. But you're saying that Bugscope also um, works on functional coverage. Can you elaborate on that? Uh, yes, Bugscope takes the simulation uh, data and then analyze it along with the RTL to generate properties that holds for all of your simulation. So uh, part of the uh, properties, a, a subset of the properties would be assertions and the rest would be functional coverage points. So in a nutshell, Bugscope generate both functional assertions as well as uh, functional coverage points. Wow, terrific. Um, now, uh, before this, I did some homework. I talked to uh, some of our joint uh, users. I talked to uh, some of our application engineers, and they really had very high praise for Bugscope. It, it really works. It generates a lot of assertions. Um, and one of the questions that comes out of that is, you know, oftentimes you have a tool that, you know, creates a lot of machine-generated code. You know, how does the user, you know, correlate that machine-generated code back to their original test bench and design? And, you know, how do they make sense of it all? What, what does uh, Bugscope do to organize it? Okay. So just to put things in perspective, our algorithm generates one property per 10 to 100 lines of RTL, which is the ideal net density for effective uh, assertion-based verification. Uh, the designer reviewed the properties in next stop format, which is mostly Verilog syntax. Uh, then the tool takes care of the rest of generating uh, SVA and PSL properties. By, by using uh, the next stop approach, uh, the designers don't have to go through the steep learning curve of learning uh, complex assertion languages and have assertions for their RTL much faster. So on average, we see it takes designer uh, one minute to review and classify each property. And the trick is that the, the white box property that we generate uh, correlates and linked with the RTL uh, fairly easily. So okay. the designer with the RTL knowledge can very quickly uh, review the property. In contrast, if you look at the, the manual process of uh, uh, writing, uh, debugging, and maintaining assertions, that could take hours. Yeah, and you went right, you know, an hour to a half a day, the, yeah. a real complex white box one could take a full day, right? Yes, yes. Um, so one thing that's uh, new in the industry is this EDA 360 vision paper. Um, uh, Cadence put it out there, and I'm wondering if you had the chance to review it, and you know, how might Next Stop fit in that uh, world that it describes? Uh, the vision paper identifies the productivity gap between uh, silicon capacity and uh, engineering output. So with regard to verification, uh, Cadence states that matrix-driven uh, verification that encompassing simulation, formal, and emulation would be the uh, productivity improvement technique. Um, so that vision is exactly in line with Nextop's goal. Yeah. So our customer has been using uh, Nextop assertions and functional coverage properties to connect and to drive their f simulation, formal, and uh, emulation flows. So as a ex specific example, uh, at the beginning of the verification process, uh, design team would run Bugscope to generate the properties. 
uh, the assertions will help them to reduce debug time. Right. The coverage property help them to target their test development. So as they're adding more tests or RTL go through changes, they uh, rerun bug scope until the uh, verification converges. Of course, the assertions and the coverage points generated by bug scope can also be fed into formal and emulation tools to find corner case bugs or patch a difficult uh, coverage holes. Right, and with all the, the coverage creation that you're providing, it certainly feeds into a metric-driven process, and, uh, and certainly if you're like an IP creator or integrator, you, you have uh, real yardsticks to, to measure your quality now. Exactly, and plus the assertions in your IP will help the reuse process down the road. Indeed. Well, hey, thanks for your time. Um, just a quick note, how do customers learn more about uh, the tool and about the company? Yeah, go to uh, www.nextstopsoftware.com and check out uh, how customers like Broadcom, NVIDIA, Altera have used Nextstop uh, Bugscope tool to uh, jumpstart their assertion-based verification flow. Great. Well, thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank mm -hmm. you.